Good morning, St. Lucia. How are you doing today? We are bringing you plenty vibes, lots of energy, and we are right here at the J.K. Rodney Babe Mall. And let me tell you, when I say good vibes and energy, it's because we're at Kink Imprint. So if you're all about uniqueness, you want customization, you want to do something different, this is the place you need to come to visit. This is the segment you need to see. So first of all, let me officially welcome Darren. He is the owner. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Great, and we're so happy to have you here on this morning. And we're going to enlighten everybody today who's still left in the dark. So tell us a little bit about kink imprints um kink imprints is a t-shirt customized t-shirt business mm -hmm. where we personalize a whole lot of um apparel such as um caps trousers t-shirts tank tops name it you name it you know whatever the customer want we personalize for them perfect now how did this idea come about um well i started business in 2010 in Castro's, but it was just a, a high-end retail store, mm -hmm. right? I used to bring down a whole lot of um, urban wear, and to the point where when they implemented the VAT to the country, it kind of had the whole economy turn upside down. Right. So business was really slow. So me being an artist from school and stuff like that a long time ago, um, I tried to keep the same retail business, well, clothing business, and like okay i try to keep the same concept with selling t-shirts and accessories mm -hmm. to my customers and me being an artist i decided to like i i started researching on um what can i do to give the customers what exactly they want on a t-shirt so i went into searching on printing and stuff and i came across the idea of customizing t-shirts but I can only imagine that you probably have a lot of fun doing this job too because I know when it's carnival season, I see so many different shirts, hats, you name it. And then when I ask, I know this is where it came out from. Yeah. And again, it's because you're customizing for people. people so, yeah. so, you know, what do you enjoy about what you do for persons? Um, honestly, some of the crazy ideas customers come with. Every, every day, is, it's never a dull moment mm -hmm. here at King Kim Prince, you know. Customers, they have some really funny customers. They have customers that are way out of the box. <laughs> so it's, it makes it a lot, it's, it makes it an enjoyable job. The fact that customers live in the happy and satisfied, that's all that matters to us. Great. So yeah. let me ask you, what is one of the memorable or craziest, um, you know, creations that you've had to do for somebody? Huh. I guess um, it's a, it was some streetwear customized print where I had to print like all different parts of the t-shirt. Mm -hmm. You know, so I guess when people say that, it's people use as a customer, like, where did you order that from? And you know, Great. Yeah. so now let's just detail a little bit of what exactly you can do. Because uh, at first I thought that it was kink tease, mm -hmm. but luckily behind the scenes, I got corrected, I got schooled, and it was always kink imprints. Imprint, but yeah. I, I knew you guys for unique um, t shirt designs, but I know you have expanded. So let us know what else you are able to do. Um, well, right now that we started with just the the t-shirt printing from the beginning, mm -hmm. but now I introduced the um, the different types of printing we do was, uh, we do vinyl print, we do submission. Um, the common one, all the submissions know, which is the heat transfer print. Okay. You know, you print on a special paper and then you press it onto the shirt. And now, since, you know, um, like, I have a good foundation when it comes to the one-offs, I just introduced um, screen printing to the business where it's designed for like bulk orders, thousands of shirts. So where to benefit the customer and ourselves. Great. And are you able to actually handle the bulk, bulk orders solely um, by yourself as your company? Well, yes. Well, I have the help of my staff, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. You know what I think is so interesting about that? Because this is a small business, yeah. a small team. However, it's showing the growth because, you know, once upon a time, you probably weren't able to do bulk all by yourself. Yeah. You know, maybe um, I think you did mention that you used to subcontract persons, but yeah. now you're actually at a point where you can handle, handle doing yeah. mass volume. Mass so volumes, yeah. where would you like to see Kink Imprints in the future? Um, definitely, I want to go regional, you know? I would love it to, I would love to um, have the, 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 the brand mm -hmm. um, grow into a franchise, you know? That's a big, a big goal, but honestly, I'm praying about it and I'm working towards it. Fantastic. Yeah. You know, one other thing too, I mean, this just shows you know, St. Lucian's doing amazing things and starting small and if you have a dream, you can do it. And you did mention your background in art. 
as yeah. well. I mean, I know you're into the biking life. So do you find your other hobbies, your other talents also somehow get fused into the creative work that you do here? No, definitely. Definitely. Because with, um, with especially, like you say, the biking, I do a lot of um, creative prints for the bikers, mm -hmm. you know, and the fact that they know me being a biker and me having that creative background, they all come to me and, you know, advise them into the designs and stuff like that. And at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. So they're happy about it and just keep growing. Perfect. Well, I think St. Lucian's, anybody who did not know of Kink Imprints now knows. But of yeah. course, how can they reach out and contact? Because you know the season is picking up, jazz is coming, summer is unfolding. And I know persons are probably going to be dying to yeah. get stuff done. Um, they, can contact, they can contact us on our social media account, which is King Tears on Instagram. And also our landline number is um, 451-KINK-5465. Oh, yeah, and the cell number is 584-KINK-5465. Right. Yeah, and well, also our email address is kinkimprints at gmail.com. I see, I love it when business owners just make it that easy yeah. for us as customers to remember everything. Yeah. So even the telephone number, I'm going to walk out here and remembering that as well. So St. Lucia, this is Darren, and of course he has a small team, but they're doing some massive moves here. They're upstairs at the J.Q. Rodney Bay Mall. It's kink imprint, so where biking life, artistic creativity, get fused and merged. What you have to do, think kink. Hey St. Lucia, good morning to you. We are super excited because it is the annual Courts OECS reading competition and the winner has emerged. I have the lovely Pearl Conibert here with us. How are you feeling today when you are the winner? It was, I was feeling ecstatic. I was, I was feeling ecstatic because I didn't know what I was going to do and my legs were breaking beneath me. <laughs> Great. And how was your preparation for the competition? How hard did you prepare for this? very hard night and day. Great. And did, is this something you always thought of doing and being part of? Yes. My mother made me visit last year so I could see what it was like. Mm -hmm. And she said, and when the winner came, she said, that'll be you one day. So I was counting on it. Great. So how did you feel in the moment when you were doing your own reading? What was going through your mind? My own reading? was saying I was thinking that I was doing everything wrong and then I and then I but I but it was because I wasn't listening to myself I was just reading like because I like to read so when I when I when I heard myself over the tape my mother heard mm -hmm. I realized it was my it was the best I had ever done great that's fantastic and what school do you attend you curse Lewis as the primary school and what grade are you in grade five and what do you have to say for anybody who's watching, any other children your age who may be interested in, you know, pursuing things like this? What would you like to say to them? I hope God bless them with the same talent that he has blessed me with. To continue reading and I hope they someday win this too. Well, congratulations to you. You are the winner, so enjoy this moment. And of course, we'll bring you more. So St. Lucia, you know we had to catch up with Melissa. She's always our go-to lady and keeping us in the know with anything happening here at court. And of course, the OACS reading competition has taken place and the winner is selected. How did you feel about today's events unfolding? Well, I am very happy and always so proud just to see the quality of performances that we have with the participants. They're only eight and nine years old, but they still give such good accounts of themselves. So very pleased and we're definitely happy with the results and the turnout today. Great. And seeing each, you know, school being represented here today and how articulate the children were, how does it feel knowing that every year you all help facilitate something like this that really nurtures this sort of talent with the kids? Well, this is actually the part of my job that I enjoy the most, giving back, and especially when it involves the youth and educational development. As I mentioned when I spoke earlier, I am an avid reader. So mm -hmm. other than being a court staff member and being very committed to providing this support, I love reading and I can see how beneficial it is. So for them to share in that passion, it just makes it all that more um, encouraging for me to be a part of it. Now, how many years has it been so far for the competition? Well, this is actually the competition um, that would have taken place last year in October. Because it is an OECS competition and on the heels of the hurricane that affected our sister island of Dominica, at that point at court, we had to make the decision to put on hold any other activities just to 
focus all of our energies and resources on rehabilitating Dominica because we do have stores and employees who were affected over there. So we uh, postponed the competition last year, made sure that our folks in Dominica got back on track. Our stores have since opened, our staff are back at work, and the whole field of Dominica is that they're getting back to normalcy. And because of that, now we thought it was opportune for us to ourselves go back on schedule and have the competition. So we're very happy and we're looking forward to the OECS finals which will be held in St. Lucia in May. Oh boy, so now that gives us even more to look forward that to. That is correct, yes, because last year's winner was Kishon Alphonse of the Soufre Primary School. She won the OECS competition in the previous year. And so the other islands will be coming here to meet with Paul Cornibert, who will be our representative for St. Lucia. Oh boy, well after what we saw today, trust me, I think we have good representation and we're going to make sure that we are there in Mesa St. Lucia. You need to keep following and of course if you're a parent, a guardian or otherwise, support the kids, make reading fun for them just like our friends at courts are doing too. So hats off to you guys, thank you again. Thanks so much and thank you to DBS for being a sponsor for the ninth year. We've always supported us and we thank you so much for the continued support. Well you're most welcome <laughs> and that's what it's all about right here in this morning. It's all about being a family. Welcome back everybody. This morning shall resume right now. The Hands Across the Sea book initiative continues to unfold and we are able to catch up with them at the Groselet Primary School as they had their official handover ceremony there. We are at Groselet Primary School for the grand opening of their brand new library. It's the first year of their library and we are very fortunate that this year we received funding from the Tourism Enhancement Fund to purchase brand new books for this library. So Hands Across the Sea partnered with the Tourism Enhancement Fund uh, to fund the books. We purchased the books uh, based on input from the school and um, our role is to help the school set up a little lending library and to help train students to be librarians and we're hopeful that the library will um, develop and that we can continue to support the reading habits of the children here at the school. We want to get feedback on what books they love so we can purchase more of them. The SLHJ through our Tourism Enhancement Fund. Um, this fund was conceptualized in 2013. It's a voluntary fund um, where we receive um, contributions from our visitors on island. And through this fund we are able to get into initiatives or contribute or be a part of projects such as these where we can give back to our youth, give back to the community. Um, and even assist with um, developing our tourism product. Um, Harriet um, approached us um, through the project Hands Across the Sea, um, whereby, as you can see, books um, have been donated and a library is now um, uh, was able to have been um, developed or created um, which gives back to our youth as we are aware and we know that literacy among the youth is important. So indeed the SLHT is so proud to have given back and to be a part of this program and to be, a, to be here today um, and to see these kids um, have the opportunity to read, um, have the opportunity to enjoy um, reading and to enjoy um, being a part of their school and, and being in a fun environment where they can actually sit and be in an actual library and I can say that I am proud to have been a part of it. I mean it's a pleasure having it because for students that is willing to read and to take a next step in reading I think it's the better opportunity for them to have a better life of reading so I will probably say that having a library is the best thing for a school. Um, we are very joyful at the Grosse Primary School this morning. A project we have discussed and worked on for so many years finally come to fruition. We at the Grosley Primary School, we 
are aware of the significance of reading, how important reading is in the life of any individual, especially our children. And this library, we know, will help us enhance learning education at that school. The students at the Grocery Primary School, especially our boys, they say one of our goals is to create, initiate strategies and, and resources that will enhance them, their reading skills, develop their reading skills. Because we have a, a little situation at Grocery, everybody know our students are always on the streets. The Friday night is a big problem it's risky for our school and we we're just hoping that having this library at the grocery primary school will keep the children off the streets they will become members of the library they will take books and this is why we want to get books that are interesting for our boys and we we look at the library as one of the tools that may get our boys out of the streets in Brazilia. And just like that, St. Lucia, this is how we wrap up this morning right here together. And it's an amazing Thursday, so we have to keep our positive energy going and also say some special greetings, special birthday greeting as well today going out to Katrina. Happy birthday to you. I hope you have an amazing day at school today. And, of course, that everybody around you is going to ensure that that happens too. I guarantee you that. Also, good morning to our friends over at J.Q. Rodney Bay Mall. Make sure you guys go check them out. And make sure you say that you are family of this morning. I guarantee you that you'll be treated like VIP, okay? Just remember I said that. Now, with all that said, let's take our good energy, stay positive, and let's smile today. No matter if you know somebody or not, just give a smile. You don't know what somebody might be going through. It takes nothing at all to give just a smile. It might brighten up somebody's day and keep your positive mood going. So I will see you tomorrow where we free up and unwind to prep for the weekend. So make sure you return and join us right here on This Morning and on your leader, DBS.